We all know that Flying Scotsman was the first steam locomotive to officially hit 100 miles an hour. Look, it says it right there. But what if I told you that a rather unsuspecting engine may have beaten Scotsman to the record almost 30 years earlier? On the 9th of May 1904, a Great Western engine called City of Truro was pulling a fast mail train from Plymouth to London. The city class of locomotive were a 440 design primarily used on passenger trains, but were no strangers to pulling post trains either. A railway magazine writer by the name of Charles Rouse Martin was timing the train on his stopwatch when he noticed they had taken 8.8 .8 seconds to travel between two quarter mile posts while descending the incline at Whiteball. If the timing was exact, that would mean it was doing roughly 102 miles an hour. A postal worker on the train was also timing the engine and backed up Rouse Martin's report. The Great Western Railway initially didn't want newspapers to report the engine's speed as they felt the need to preserve their reputation for safety, but two local newspapers in Plymouth ran the story of the engine hitting 100 miles an hour anyway. However, because the engine's speed wasn't being officially recorded or tested, no professionals on board or a dynamometer car to clock the speed, nobody could be truly sure if it did break the record, and as such, it was never officially titled as the first steam locomotive to hit 100 miles an hour. It wasn't until 1908 that Rouse Martin said the locomotive was City of Truro, and it took the Great Western until 1922 to confirm it. From then on, the Great Western decided to use City of Truro for publicity, although strangely enough, the company didn't want to pay to preserve the engine when the rest of the class were being withdrawn in 1931. In the end, it took a lot of persuading from their chief engineer, Charles Collett, to donate it to the national collection. And what if I told you that, even then, another steam locomotive may have hit the 100 mile an hour benchmark 11 years before City of Truro did. In 1893, engine number 999 of the New York Central and Hudson River Railroad was claimed to have reached 100 miles an hour while travelling from Batavia to Buffalo. Similar to City of Truro, timings were taken between mileposts that, if measured correctly, would have meant the engine was travelling at 112.5 miles an hour. However, because of the nature in which the timings were were taken and the fact that the speed recorder on the engine clocked its highest speed at 86 miles an hour, the story ended up being dismissed by many people. An experimental electric locomotive in Berlin had clocked a speed of 130 miles an hour in 1903, so City of Truro hitting 100 miles an hour wasn't full on breaking railway speed records. But for a 440 steam locomotive built in 1903 pulling a full post train? Well, it certainly would have been a sight to behold. Subscribe for more.